Hi, I'm Cal Bennett from Status. With the new protocols that Ethereum has introduced, we're seeing the emergence of a whole new ecosystem developing before our eyes. An ecosystem of decentralized applications, also known as dApps, built on what has been dubbed Web 3.0. Over time, this ecosystem will provide a full suite of financial tools and services and the next generation of social agreements. But the truth is this technology is still in its infancy. It suffers from a lack of user adoption and high barriers to entry. And to solve this problem, what became clear to us is that we should build a general user interface, a gateway, if you will, between end users and decentralized applications. So how do you create a product that can benefit people right now and provide real value right now, but is also general and adaptable enough to remain competitive and evolve into something more as new use cases present themselves. And what would such an interface look like? Well, as it turns out, there's one particular type of application that provides the answer. It's an app category that boasts the most active users than any other category. It boasts the most time spent inside of it than any other app category. And it also boasts the highest retention rates for effective user acquisition. So what is it? It's messaging applications. Now, messaging as a platform hasn't really reached Europe yet, so let me first provide some context. Because it's our belief that messaging apps are on the path of becoming gateways to our economic and social lives. Now, there's a Chinese app called WeChat that epitomizes this phenomenon. With over 700 million active users live in China in your communication, your banking, your transport, your payment service discovery, almost any form of human trade can be done from within it. And sadly, it's a closed source, proprietary software, and one must relinquish their privacy in order to use it. I'd like to introduce you now to Status. Status is a fully open source project. It's a visual expression of what we believe Ethereum represents. It's a hybrid between a decentralized encrypted instant messenger and a web 3.0 browser. It runs on both Android and iOS. And you might be wondering, what is the value that Status can provide right now? Well, for users, this messaging, decentralized messaging with end-to-end -end encryption by default, social payments and social smart contracts all from within chats. And there's a wallet. It's a built-in cryptocurrency wallet for asset storage and management and reviewing transactions. And thirdly, there's Discover. It's a way to find other users to exchange goods and services and other decentralized apps all within a peer-to-peer -peer fashion. Now for developers, we're building out a chat API so any developer can build on this platform and integrate their dApp through a conversational UI, web view, or both. And most importantly, we provide access to Status' user base. Now, execution. We're a team of eight headquartered in Singapore. Six of us are developers. This year, we've built the foundation of a platform, and our alpha release is out in the beginning of December. We have a beta release set coming out in Q1 of next year. We've received a grant from the Ethereum Foundation directly, and we've already had over 1,200 developers and members of the blockchain community sign up for early access. My co-founder Jared and I have been working together for five years. Our last successful business was in user acquisition, and once we're out of beta, driving insoles to status is something we have a very firm grasp on. So the bottom line here, status aims to do for, for Ethereum what Netscape did for the internet. It's more than just an encrypted messenger. Status is a tool for self-sovereignty. It gives users freedom to actually own their data, and it provides an on-ramp for everyday people, particularly in developing countries, to begin using blockchain-based services. So given time, Status will provide more reliable alternatives to traditional banking, but also a borderless, permissionless way to trade and exchange. It's a decentralized economy in your pocket, built to drive financial inclusion and facilitate the transition to a more open internet.